Hello everyone, we hope you're well. Now today, this is a, a golden syrup uh, cake. Now this can be used as cake or pudding. Now, I have to be ever so careful that I say golden syrup because I'm afraid where we live, us country bumpkins, we called it treacle, we always did. But it does say treacle cake in lots of places, but it's not treacle. It's golden syrup. You can see the tin there at the back. And there's the golden syrup at the front measured out. Now, Wendy's measured all this out, so we're about ready to go. And what we thought, what we'll do, we'll do these in uh, in the cassoura. And we, we'll do one in the double draw cassoura. And we thought we'll do the other one in the turbo blaze. Well, just to see how it goes, really. So, uh, what we'll do... I don't think there's hotels to mention there. It's pretty much an all-in-one cake, I think. Wendy's actually saw this on, uh, what was it on? Instagram. <coughs> oh, yeah, Instagram. Of course, there's n in the <coughs> B-Row books, there isn't one on B-Row book. Oh, I didn't realise that. No. Oh, right. So anyway, she's seen it on Instagram yeah. and we're going to give it a go. Now, I'm always a bit dubious about Instagram, but this looks all right. So we'll make a start. And we'll get going and we'll bring you back. And I tell you what, you're in for a treat. Because Wendy's going to explain this as she goes along. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand this. She's pushing me out here. I'm going to be made redundant. But, mate, I can't wait to see it. Come oh. on, let's have some of this. <laughs> I'm sure you lot will enjoy it a lot more. Anyway, <laughs> let's bring you back. Right, now it's the sugar, the brown sugar, soft, golden brown. Um, the caster sugar, lots of calories. Oh, we need them. And the butter. Right, this is margarine. Oh. And then the syrup. It's going to take a bit of time. Well, it looks like all I've got to do on this job is keep washing up. Yeah. Great. Things are getting really bad now. Now medium meat. I mean it might seem mm -hmm. a little daft that we use this on, but the main reason is we do most of the mixing and cooking where the cooker is, you know, on that mat. So mm -hmm. this just makes it easier. Now why does it keep buzzing? I don't know. It's on its way out. I think it probably is. <laughs> I mean while Wendy's doing this, mm -hmm. I was actually going to sit and talk to you because we just recently went in that caravan on that holiday, didn't we? Right, now, that one's done. Oh right, you've done it. Oh she's cut me short. <laughs> right. We'll forget that bit. Come on, tell them. Well I didn't know you were going to stop. I've stopped oh, I now. Don't know. Right, I've put the other to the side that's warm, the um, treacle and the sugar, and now it's just the milk. So it's 150 ml of milk mixed with a, one egg. Only one egg? Yeah, that's what it says. So just mix that together. And guess what? You put that to the side as well. And then you get your flour, self-raising flour, which is, how much was a flour? I can't remember now. Well, I'll write it to them in the description, yeah. so don't worry if you can't remember. It's 200 grams yeah. of self-raising. Then add your milk and your eggs. Oops. Mm. 
as well. And your syrup mixture. Sure, we get all that because if not, you'll start clearing the bowl out with your tongue. Then mix it together. Yeah, what I will tell you, and I was going to tell you, but when you cut me off, no, oh. when we went on that holiday, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're better off with a bowl in the middle if you Oops. can. Um, when we went on that holiday, we went and stopped in that caravan for seven nights. It's fantastic. The site's so clean. We're really happy. Now, the day before we were coming home, it must have been about half three in the afternoon, we hit a giant pothole <coughs> and the suspension won't be an almighty clank. Luckily, there was a lay-by. I pulled up and I thought, oh no, it snapped the spring. So we hobbled along to a garage that I noticed round the corner and they were right near the campsite. They only do tyres. He says, well there's a garage down the road we use, they'll sort you out, they're brilliant. So I said, all right, we'll go then. So he rung them up and arranged for us to go. Mate, it was about five or six miles. It was in Rolls Bay and we were oh, a bit worried it was making some right racket. And when we got there, the blokes who were brilliant to be fair, they had a look at it straight away. And what had happened, with the rose being so bad, it had gradually worn the threads away on the top suspension and pulled it, ripped it right out. Now luckily for us, it dropped back in the hole. He says to me, I can't let you drive this in this state. We just can't <laughs> do it. I think Wendy's going to stop me, aren't you? No. All oh, right, all right. Because she, no. she just cut me off, mate. She ain't bothered. No. Anyway, the lad said to me, we can't let you drive this like this. I said, well, how do I get back to my caravan? And the lad said, no more. He says, I'll sort you out a taxi. Taxi come, took us home. Brilliant. I said to him, the only problem is, to the garage, I said, we need this because they're kicking us out at 10 o'clock tomorrow. And he says, take a photo of the suspension and show them. They'll be sympathetic. And guess what? You're going to stop me. Yeah, guess what? It's what? He didn't take the photo. If he didn't press the button. Yeah, I was going to tell him that. Anyway, right. <laughs> I went back, we went back to Avery and I said to him, uh, well, I said to the garage, you throw me out again, mate. What happened? Yeah, well, <laughs> I said to him, can you get this car done? He says, we'll do his best. And he rung up while I were there and he sorted all the bits out and he said, I reckon we can get this done by tomorrow dinner. I said, the only problem is our car is absolutely packed. So, you know, we're a bit desperate. So we went back to it. He says, oh, don't worry, Avon will be all right. In now we went weeks. back to Avon and um, they were really sympathetic <laughs> but absolutely no help at all. They said, you've got to be out by 10 o'clock. I said, we can't. I said, well, we often have suitcases, you know, in the lobby here, you know, in the in the uh, entrance. And I said, we've got loads of stuff. I mean, you know, we took the air fryer on holiday. We've got that much stuff. The car were rammed. I said, I can't bring it. She says, oh, we've got a golf trolley. We'll, we'll help you move it. And I thought, all right. <laughs> Well, we were a bit worried. Anyway, next morning, the garage rung me up. It must only have been half oh, past eight, I think, nine. You have to about explain where they wanted to, us to leave the store. About stove. nine o'clock. And they said, if you make your way here now in the taxi, we'll get this car done. I said, oh, that's fantastic. So I rung the taxi. He says, I'll oh, come. I'll be about 20 minutes. He were brilliant as well. Now... I got in the taxi, went over there, they had it all laid out ready for me, they said we've done it, it was a suspension unit, ripped out the top, we've got the parts, fixed it, right, paid up, ready to go, brilliant. So, <clears throat> Avon wanted us out this caravan. Now, before I actually left to pick the car up, I rung them up and I said, look, give us another hour, we'll be out your way. If you can just put, oh, no, we can't do that, you've got to be out by 10. I says, 
Look, if you can hang on another hour, I'll have fetched my car and it'll all be sorted out. We'll be out your way. Well, there weren't much help, but in the end, they just gave up. And I actually thought, this is not helpful because we're a bit in trouble. And if they, if they hadn't to fix the car, I don't know what we'd have done. But we got the car, loaded it up, took us a few, mate, we, we weren't much behind 10 anyway. We were really quick. It didn't take long at all. But that, we were a bit let down there because I think Avon had been brilliant and the caravan and that. But they did offer us another caravan for the weekend for a 99 pound. But she said, well, if you don't stop in it, it don't matter. And I thought, yeah, but it's another 100 quid, isn't it? <laughs> what are we going to do with all this stuff? And oh, anyway. The week only cost us. And the week were only 70 quid or, <laughs> so, or a bit yeah. less. It was about 70 quid. I mean, yeah. it was brilliant. I'm not complaining, but. All I'm saying is, well now, when I left for the taxi, this is a bit boring, mm. it's supposed to be a cake, isn't it? No. When, I, when I went to get the, the car, there was a couple waiting for a taxi to come, because they, they were ready to go. And when I came back, they were still waiting for the taxi, so that's off to the taxi driver and all, they were pretty good. Um, I will actually put the names in the description, because I kept the card, and the car garage at Rollsbury. They were fabulous, they really were, they were very good. Uh, it's a pity they're not local for us, because they were very good. Right, I shan't bore you to death any longer. Right, we've brought you back, because Wendy's going to measure these out now. Now, apparently we're going to weigh them, so let's see what happens here. <laughs> this is going to be really difficult for you to see anyway, but... Uh, Just so we can try and get them as even as we can, really. Right, so you, so you that one's on? on 220 at the minute. Right. So if you uh, do that one. Well, that's 367. Mm -hmm. Let me put this one back on then. For yeah, you I'm to just see. cleaning in there. 367. Oops, the ball. If there's any left, then don't worry, because it's... How much? 367, you're there. Yeah. Go on, you can make that 70 now. Go on. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> hey, she's That's gone mad four. now. 384. Let's get the other one on. <laughs> so we've got 384 in there. Mate, this is a lot of mess in our Let's just chuck it in. <laughs> but we're trying to get them the same in case it cooks different. Make that 384 and then stop. Oh, you're going to be lucky to make 384. Oh, nearly. Oh, oh, only a couple of grams to go. I don't think you can actually see that. Right. Let me, let me just go. show you. If you move, <laughs> let me show you. It's how good. These are both on 384, look. You see that? So we've got two that are identical. And whose idea was that? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to bring you back. <laughs> right, let's get these on. I've switched them on and powered it up. And what we want... What does the bake setting say on here, mate? I can hardly remember. We want to go 140. That's what it says. Um, now we're just going to warm it up, so I'll just put that on five minutes before we get the mix in. Oh, there we go. Right, that one started. I did check there was nothing in there. <laughs> on the left hand side, uh, I hope I'm holding the camera still. Let's go on bake. It's on bake 160. Let's bring that down to 140. Right, then it's the time. So touch it again. Time. We want five minutes just to warm it up. Then I'll reset it. Right, off we go. Right, now this one's warmed up now. So... Uh, Let's just put that in. I'll lift it into the tray. All right, try and get that as in the middle as we can. That is good and warm. What we'll do then, put it back on. Um, we wanted baked, didn't we? They're in, they're in different places every time I look. I'm sure they're moving. Bake, 140. And we've decided to go for 30 minutes. Now, if you notice with the turbo, you get a slower fan speed. Oh, there we go. 
as you see there we've got three bars so it should work quite well in here but let's switch it on get it cooking it does actually say cooking which is a good thing because this machine is so quiet it's not this machine you can actually hear it's the other one although the other one's quiet as well right I'll bring you back right there's the uh, warm-up time I know they say you don't need it but we still think it's better you can probably tell now how quiet the other machine is I bet you can hardly hear it right we'll go on to bake which keeps moving about now what do I have to do so I have to select left then bake then down to 140 140 time we're going 30 minutes right I'll get this going and we'll bring you back because what we'll do when it's had its 30 minutes we'll have a good look I mean we've got the advantage with this machine we can look through the window so I'll move the camera and set it up so you can see through the window come on let's go for it well I've set the camera up look so you can have a look you can't see anything through that window <laughs> even with the one pound tin all you can see is the tin oh well there we go right this has had its 30 minutes now so I thought it weren't there then it's drifted <laughs> down the back when he lifts this out there you go that was, oh, your things have drowned when do you lift this out and we're going to check see what it's like it might need to go back in yeah. let's just put that back in keep that warm let's see how we go it's hard to see on these isn't it it's, um yeah, can you stand to the side because you're right in your own light, you can't see yeah. anything. No, I'll go in, I'll go in. That's better if I put the camera here. That looks, it looks like it's got some stickiness on it, but it will have, won't it? Will it? Have. With the, uh, you've got to remember there is golden syrup in here. Mm. That looks alright to me. Mm. It does. I'll just give it a while. Don't you think? Yeah, I think so. We have a feel. I'm trying to hold the camera steady and I'm useless mate. It's coming away. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think that's okay. Yeah. So. It's a funny shape, but. And right. it's very soft. Is it? That's all of a fiddle. It is <laughs> soft. Right. <laughs> I'll bring you uh, across to the other one. That's about mm. to beep any time. Right. There we go. Wait, hey, wait, 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 wait for the gun. <laughs> I'll start. Right, come on, let's get this cake out now. Let's have a look. Well, that looks all right as well. Let's get it lifted out and see what it looks like. Right, carry on. Now, the other one looks all right, and this one looks all right. So, we're pretty hopeful. That these are not going to need any more doing but uh, go on stab away let's have a look it should be fine yeah they look okay yeah oh, oh yeah, dear they're, they're okay oh i can't wait to eat both of these not to myself mm. of course well we're gonna have one as a cake and one as a pudding one was a pudding we could that should be lovely but shouldn't after it? 10 minutes um, you brush some more treacle oh yeah you've got to put some treacle on the top because as it stands there at the minute it yeah. might not kill me so let's have some more treacle on it you're trying to get rid of me mate I know that I'm no fool you know uh, come on no, they, they look right. right I mean they're funny shaped and that they, but you always tend to get a bit yeah. of a I mean it's tried to ooze I've through the gap there that, right? and, oh, oh dear well. mate it's not a wedding cake it's a good job it's not right <laughs> We'll bring you back. Right now, these have been out for a, a good ten minutes, so we're going to get the uh, brush some golden syrup on here. I'm going to tip a tip a bit on. Go on, and then brush it on. So that's all we've got to do, really. And then 
let it cool down properly mm. on the rack we can lift it out the tin because we've got the paper liners now these paper liners they are pretty good so uh, it can be an L. And the tins, are, they are in the list, the tins. Yeah. Well, the, the liners oh, are yeah. as well. Yeah. I'm not saying go and buy them. That's no, how if you want to know what yeah, sort Yeah, if you want to are. know what they are. Everything we use, well, normally it's in the list, mm. in the description. So, But they, they look all right to me. I don't see why I can't eat one now. Now they've worked out all right, we think. Now mm -hmm. it looks as though they're going to be fine, to be honest. I'll be shocked if they're not. But of course, when the time comes, we'll cut one in half and we'll have a look. But oh, look at all that treacle going on there. Why am I whispering? Just because it's so naughty. It's so nice. Okay, it's so the doctor's at the door. Yeah, he might, he might see. <laughs> no chance. Right, so Wendy will just finish this. That's it. I would Let say. me show you now what they look like. Mm. There you go. And we'll just leave them like that a few minutes and we'll lift them out. And then cool on the rack. Right, and then we'll bring you back later. Right, now, I just wanted to bring this to your attention, really. It's nothing to do with anything, is it? But can you see that look? This is... I think I'm standing in my own way. This is lamb stew. Now, <laughs> Wendy won £10 from um, Lidl. So we bought a piece of lamb. Now, it was about £15. The price scares you to death. But we had a lovely roast dinner on Sunday with that. And I'll tell you what, mate, that stew, it's three days. I mean, people are sick of stew in three days, but I'm not. That is so tasty. So that's worked out, not too bad a price at all. And all we've got, we're just having a little bit of mash a bit of bread and butter, and some of that lovely stew. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Anyway, I know this is nothing to do with the video. You can hear the kettle going for my cup of tea. And uh, I'll bring you back. Right, we've brought you back now because we're going to cut these cakes. Now this is in the dual zone. Kasori dual zone. Hopefully. This is going to be cooked all the so way soft. through. <laughs> and gooey. Oh, yeah, this, it's a, uh, yeah, it's crushed it a bit. I'm cut sorry. it, hasn't it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, what can we do? I think we've got the wrong knife there. We've not made mm. that look good, have we? I haven't. You want the sawing knife? I do, don't I? Well, that was a good one. It's just oh, crushed. Really? It's just crushed the cake. <laughs> You'll have to cut a lump off that one now. Put yeah. it back there. Well, somewhere. you can have it. It is. It's so. It's so soft. Yeah. Oh, it's so soft. I think it will be, won't it? There. How's that? Ah, oh, that looks better. <laughs> Using the wrong knife. <laughs> now I think you can see that. Look. Yeah, you go. You can see that. Look. That is actually cooked really well. Look how it's sunk in at the top, look. Slipping. Is it slipping? Right. Let's have a look at the other one. Hopefully, we'll cut this one right this time. <laughs> well, you can see it's going to be soft and gooey, can't mm. you? And you cut it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> If anything, it looks even better. Oh, I've got my sleeves stuck on that one. <laughs> oh, she's pushing the cake. I can't believe it. It's trying to keep out the right, way of the line in the camera. In, right, let me show you what this is, looks like, look. Right. That, it looks lovely, doesn't it? There's nothing wrong with that. That's cooked fine. Right, do you right. want to try one of these? Yeah, I'll have the big bit and all. Oh. If there is a big bit. Now, <laughs> show you this side. Wendy crushed the other side. There it is, look, let's see what it tastes like. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, right here. Oh, it's just gooey, isn't it? Mmm. Oh, it's quite nice. Mmm. <laughs> oh, dear. Mmm. <laughs> well, it really is nice. 
if you've enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and share look after yourselves we tried that one <laughs> we can't eat them both can we and we'll see you soon now look i've had a good few lumps out of that this is nice mm. you can see holes in there i don't know whether you can see that you know it is airy airy cake but mm. oh very gooey with all that tree tree cloth said it again mm. golden syrup <laughs> Mmm. Right. Mmm. Look after yourselves. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Right, this little bit of film really is just to show you the tallatins. These are the tallatins that we've cooked those two cakes in. And they really are nice. They're good, thick, heavy gauge tins. Now, Graham being Graham... I bought the cheaper Simon Grove. Now, these are decent tins as well. <coughs> Look at the difference though in quality. The different shape. You can hear what they're like. Now, these Tala tins, mate, these are going to outlast all of us. These are fantastically made. Now, there's only the only reason I'm telling you this, if anybody asks me, those were the tins that I bought. And these were bought by a subscriber and a friend. Now they're fantastic, they really are. And I'm a little bit tight. I bought these, but they're okay. The good these are. And as you can see, these are a different shape. These talatins look, they're a different shape and they're deeper. They're lovely. But they both work. So I'm just pointing that out because if you do happen to look in our list, there's two types of tin, but it does say tala. And I'm sure they're Simon Groves. But they were the ones I bought. Oh, just, I don't think there's anything else I need to clear up. It's just, I oh, forget these things. Right, we'll bring you back. Now look, this is just a quick picture for you. Come on, look at that. You can't tell me that you won't love till you get your teeth in there. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> This is like a dream come true for me. I know it's really, oh dear, it's very sweet, but it's lovely. I'm not even going to take a bite out of that, because if I have one bite, this camera's going on the floor, because I'm going to eat all of that. So, uh, well, if you want me to talk to the sponge, all I can say is, I'm going to devour you, baby. <laughs> you fool. Anyway, look at that. A real treat. I just thought you'd like to see that and I can act stupid at the same time.